Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting video if you have not subscribed our channel then please subscribe our channel and to get each and every update please click on the bell icon. And if you have not watched the previous video then please watch it those will help you to understand this video. In this video, we will see about Entity Manager. What is Entity Manager and Hibernate? Hibernate Entity Manager implements the programming interfaces and life cycle rules as defined by the JPA 2.0 specification. Together with Hibernate Annotations, this wrapper implements a complete, and standalone, JPA persistence solution on top of the mature Hibernate core. The Entity Manager API is used to access a database in a particular unit of work. This interface is similar to the session in Hibernate. It is used to create and remove persistent entity instances, to find entities by their primary key identity, and to query over all entities. Here is the dependency. What is Entity Manager Factory? An Entity Manager factory provides Entity Manager instances. All instances are configured to connect to the same database, to use the same default settings as defined by the particular implementation, etc. Interface used to interact with the Entity Manager factory for the persistence unit. When the application has finished using the Entity Manager factory, and or an application shutdown, the application should close the Entity Manager factory. You can prepare several Entity Manager factories to access several data stores. This interface is similar to the Session Factory in Native Hibernate. What is Local Container Entity Manager Factory Bean? Factory Bean that creates a JPA Entity Manager Factory according to JPA's standard container bootstrap contract. This is the most powerful way to set up a shared JPA Entity Manager Factory in a Spring application context. The Entity Manager Factory can then be passed to JPA-based DAOs via dependency injection. Note that switching to a JNDI lookup or to a local Entity Manager Factory bean definition is just a matter of configuration. What is Persistence Context? The scope of this context can either be the transaction, or an extended unit of work. Entities are managed by javx.persistence.entityManager instance using persistence context. Each entity manager instance is associated with the persistence context. Within the persistence context, the entity instances and their life cycle are managed. Persistence context defines a scope under which particular entity instances are created, persisted, and removed. A persistence context is like a cache which contains a set of persistent entities, so once the transaction is finished, all persistent objects are detached from the entity manager's persistence context and are no longer managed. What is Hibernate JPA Vendor Adopter? JPAV Vendor Adopter Implementation for Hibernate Entity Manager It's kind of one property of Entity Manager and contains some configuration like Generate DDL, Show SQL, Format SQL etc. Here is the way to create a bean. What is JPA Transaction Manager? This transaction manager is appropriate for applications that use a single JPA Entity Manager factory for transactional data access. Jenny A, usually to JTA Transaction Manager, is necessary for accessing multiple transactional resources within the same transaction. This transaction manager also supports direct data source access within a transaction. Here is the way to create a bean. Let's implement. Before starting anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Service started successfully. 
means everything is working fine. Let's the search for the Hibernate Entity Manager Dependency. We prefer the same version which we used last time 4.3.0. Let's copy this and paste it in palm file. Now we'll replace Hibernate Core with Hibernate Entity Manager Dependency. Let's replace property placeholder bean with context property placeholder. Let's replace session factory with entity manager factory. And replace hibernate local session factory bean with JPA local container entity manager factory bean. Now instead of Hibernate properties, we will use JPA Vendor Adapter and inside that, we will create a bean for Hibernate JPA Vendor Adapter. Now need to replace Hibernate Transaction Manager with JPA Transaction Manager and replace Session Factory Property with Entity Manager Factory. Let's add changes in the repository class. Replace all session factory code with the entity manager. See how easily we replaced all session factory related code entity manager factory. Let's restart the server. Oops exception let's check.
let's restart again. Service started, it's working. In case of edit, it's giving exception, let's check. It's happening because we simply use persist, now let's add some simple condition. So if new record then persist otherwise merge. Let's restart again. Service started. See it's working. Oops now delete is not working. Let's restart again. Service started. See now everything is working fine, let's review whatever we added. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please click the like button. We will come back shortly with new video. Till the time happy learning.